Hi guys, today I'm going to read The Berenstain's Bears and the Green-Eyed Monster by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Here's our title page. Ooh, she, oops, she does not look happy. It was a happy time in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road in bear country. A happy birthday time. It was Brother Bear's birthday and he was getting some very fine presents. Brother wasn't exactly having a party, but Cousin Fred, Lizzie Bruin, and Babs Bruno were there. And Gramps and Gran, of course. Wow, said Brother Bear when he opened his presents from Gramps. It was an aluminum bat. Thanks, Gramps. I'll hit 20 home runs with this. Gran's present was great looking warm up jacket. Brother tried it on and, it look, and looked in the mirror. Thank you, Gran, it's really neat, he said. His other presents were fielder's glove from Cousin Fred, a sports video from Lizzie Bruin, and a mystery book from Babs Bruno. Sister, sister's very thoughtful gift was a package of balsa wood and a spe the special wood Brother used for making model airplanes. So this is, this over here is balsa wood and <laughs> this up here is the mitt. All right, here we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you all, he said. You're welcome and happy birthday, said the gift givers. Sister's gift was, was thoughtful, but she was being, was being thoughtful in another way too. It isn't always easy when your brother gets a lot of presents and you don't. Sister understood that she had gotten presents when she when it was her birthday and would again. Besides, she wasn't that interested in aluminum bats, warm-up jackets, field, fielder's gloves, and sports videos or balsa wood anyway. But all of that changed when Mama and Papa Bear gave Brother Bear their present. It was the biggest, most beautiful racing bike Sister had ever seen. It had a handbrake, three speeds, and super sport wheels. When sister saw that beautiful bike, it was no longer happy birthday brother. It was, I gotta have a bike. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I don't know. Mama saw that I gotta have it look in sister's eye. She took her aside and reminded her about the wonderful presents she had gotten on her birthday, but sister didn't hear a word mama said. She just stared at the big beautiful bike with hand brakes and super sport wheels. Oh dear, said mama, I think you've been taken over by the green-eyed monster. Green-eyed monster? What's that? Oh, said mama, that's just a way folks have of talking about jealousy and envy. You know what jealous means. Envy is when you want something that belongs to somebody else. But mama, said sister, it's a, such a great, beautiful bike. Please listen to me, sister, said mama. Even if you had a bike like that, you couldn't ride it. You're not big enough. Your feet wouldn't reach the pedals. Besides, Look what Papa's got for you. Papa was wheeling in Brother's junior sized bike with training wheels attached. It's yours now, he said. Sister looked at Brother's at the bike Brother had outgrown. It was okay, but it didn't have a handbrake, three speeds, and super sport wheels. Come on now, said Mama. Our guests are leaving and it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, said brother. Thank you for all the wonderful presents. Bye, said sister. Gramps and Gran got into their pickup truck and headed for home. Lizzie Bruin got into her dad's car with the other. With the others, Mr. Bruin had agreed to come for them and drive them home. Then Papa helped carry the new bike down the front steps. Mama and Papa watched proudly as brother climbed on and tried it out. Oh, sister doesn't look very happy.
First, Brother rode big, fast circles around the treehouse. Then he did a few wheelies. When he started riding with his feet up on the handlebars, Mama got worried. Now let's not be reckless, she said. Sister watched too. She had gone inside and was watching from the window. As she did, she became filled with envy. From the tips of her pink-haired bow down to the tips of her toenail, Sister really wanted that big, beautiful racing bike. Oh, Sister. Sister, sister, sister. That night, sister was having trouble falling asleep because she was still thinking about the bike. Then, just as her eyes were closing, the strangest thing happened. She had a visitor. The visitor looked exactly like sister, except she was green and had little horns on her head. I know who you are, sister said. You are the green-eyed monster. Sister was having a dream, of course, but she didn't know that. That's the thing about dreams. They are so real. Come on, come, said the green-eyed monster. If you want a bike like brothers, all you have to do is prove you're big enough to ride it. Before she quite knew what was happening, she was up on the bike, and the green-eyed monster was giving her a big push. Uh-oh, I don't think this is going to end well, boys and girls. The bike was much too big for her. Her feet couldn't even almost reach the pedals. Then, as so often happens in dreams, things began to change. The bike got bigger and bigger and bigger. Now Sister was speeding down the hill. At the bottom was a great rock. She smashed into it. There was a huge crash. Brother's beautiful new birthday bike flew into a thousand pieces. What have I done? What have I done? She screamed. <coughs> mama and Papa, who just who had just fallen asleep, came running into the Cubs' room. Oh, Mama, I smashed Brother's beautiful birthday bike into a thousand pieces, a thousand pieces. Try to calm down, sweetie. Brother's bike is perfectly safe. You were just having a dream. What's going on, said Brother, rubbing his eyes. I'll go downstairs and get us all some more milk, said Papa. It'll help us get back to sleep. And it did. The next day, Sister's best friend Lizzie came over to play. She and Sister had fun a fun time riding around the yard. Brother's old bike turned out to be just right for Sister. Lizzie had a good time on Sister's old trike, and Brother rode circles around them on his birthday bike. Later, when Mr. Brewing came over to pick, pick up Lizzie, he had a very big surprise for everybody. He had just traded in his car his old car for a beautiful brand new one and what a car it was it had a wire wheels leather seats and racing stripes hmm i don't know wonder what's gonna happen next i bet papa bear is gonna be up to no good mama brother and sister and lizzie congratulated mr bruin on his fine new car but not papa he just stood and stared he had the same I gotta have it look that sister had when she first saw that brother when she first saw brother's new bike. Papa, said sister, I think you better watch out for you know who. Papa did know who. Mr. Bruin, he said, congratulations on a fine new car. Look, Papa almost let the green eyed monster get a hold of him. After the Bruins drove away, Mama and Papa sat on the tree house steps and watched Brother and Sister do some plain and fancy bike riding. And that is the end. Oops, I forgot to show you the last page. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that book. Um, I will be posting this to our YouTube channel, and I will also try to upload it to Dojo. Hopefully, it'll work. If not, I'll read it again and read it a little faster. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Love you.